reading comprehension. Before we will answer this, let's read tips in getting the right answers for reading and comprehension exam. To tell you honestly, kapag maganda ang foundation nyo, yung nag-aral ka ng mabuti noon, hindi ka man top sa klase pero hindi ka pabaya or sabihin na natin magan magaling ka sa English. Mas madali ito para sa inyo. Kasi para lang chismis, baga ba? Parang chismis lang. Tapos uh, magsummarize ka lang kung ano ang pagkaintindi mo doon. Ah, by the way, wag yung chismis. Kasi kadalasan, yung chismis, pag hinahatid mo na sa kabila, iba na yung story. So, mali-mali na. Wag yan. Uh, parang kwentuhan lang. Then, we summarize or we just provide answers kung ano yung nasa kwento o yung story. Basahin na nga natin yung mga nakalap kong mga tips galing sa iba't ibang sites. Tips in getting the right answers for reading and comprehension exam. Again, kapag hindi nyo like yung the way how I pronounce the words, ignore nyo na lang yun. Doon kayo mag-focus kung saan may matutunan kayo. Let's proceed. Stay calm and don't panic. Kasi pag uh, natataranta ka na, mawawala ka na sa concentration. As you open the booklet, you'll definitely see long pack passages and paragraphs. Do not stress yourself into thinking, wow, should I really have to read all of this? Because you really should. Unless you don't want to pass the test and just waste your chance. Read with your eyes, not with your mouth. Avoid lips movement and whispering because reading with your lips is time consuming. Besides, it will distract everyone. Reading with your eyes is also reading with your mind. It will help you understand what you are reading better. Do not read word for word. Instead, read group of words or sections at a time for they will help you get the main topic of the paragraph. It will also help you save time and finish the test on time. Do not read the answers first before the questions and the paragraph. It will only confuse you. Read fast and understand what you're reading to get the main idea or the whole passage. Questions are always related about the main idea. What is the main idea? It is simply the main topic and the center of what is being talked about in the article. Concentrate on the parts of the paragraph where the possible answer can be found. Then, take note of the following. Main idea is simply what the story is mainly about. Climax is the peak point or highlight of the story. Plot is the pattern of events of the story. Conflict is the tension and struggle part of the story. Setting is where and when the story takes place. Best or alternative title is usually being asked is usually being asked to, so you must choose the best one that talks about the main idea. Focus on reading and everything will be taken into your mind like a movie playing inside your head. If you focus, you'll never be disturbed. If you're disturbed by something in the room, you lose an important key to ace this part of the test. Kaya stay calm and don't panic. Ngayon, balik tayo sa question number two. Again, sa actual na exam, read this with your eyes. Marami daw mga ganito yung, This paragraph best support the statement that, yung mga ganyan, marami daw yan doon. Let's read this. Human technology developed from the first stone tools about two and a half million years ago. So, nag-umpisa na pala siya noon pa. At the beginning, the rate of development was slow. Mahina lang daw. Ang development, yung mga ganyan lang. 
Bali, habang nagbabasa ka, ni-revise mo yung mga statement on your own words. Hundreds of thousands of years passed without much change. Wala masyadong mga kaibahan. Today, new technologies are reported daily on television and in newspapers. So, masyado na tayong updated ngayon. This paragraph best supports the statement that A. Stone tools were not really technology. Yun nga yung unang technology noon, so mali yan. B. Stone tools were in use for two and a half million years. C. There is no way to know when stone tools first came into use. D. In today's world, new technologies are constantly being developed. E. None of the latest technologies is as significant as the development of stone tools. Ito, napansin nyo, sa mga choices. The last sentence, dito tayo. The last sentence states that new technologies are reported daily and this implies that new technologies are being constantly being developed constantly developed there is no support for itong choice a with regards to choice b stone tools were first used two and a half years ago but they were not necessarily in use all the time so wala yan all that time i mean choice c is clearly wrong since the paragraph states when stone tools first came into use wrong yan siya there is no way to know when stone tools first came into use meron na nga dito eh human technology developed from the first stone tools about two and a half million years ago. So, mali yung, as in, mali yung number, ay, uh, letter C. Ngayon, itong last, none of the latest, latest technologies is as significant as the development of stone tools. Pwede. But, the author of the paragraph does not give support or full support of this opinion. So, ang pinakamagandang sagot dito ay yung letter D.